So let's start with instrumentation. I would like to go through these topics from a perspective of someone who is going for a job interview. And I think if I do it like that, then also if you're already in the field and looking to improve your knowledge, you can use those tips the same way. So if you are switching from another industry to the FMCG industry, or if you're already in the industry and looking at moving into another company, it is a good idea for you to do your homework and research and find out the type of processes that that particular company has. We can then do homework on the type of instruments that they most likely to be using in their plant. So that is because the common question that usually comes up in interviews is that they will ask you to highlight the different instruments that you think are important in their process. So then if you don't know the type of process that they run, then this can be very tricky for you. So from your research, you must know the type of instruments that they have and where they use them. So the first thing that you need to know is the type of instruments that you would find in the food and beverage industry. For example, you must be able to tell that, okay, you need temperature transmitters to measure hot water. If that company uses hot water, you need to measure level for the tanks or silos that contain their products. So those are the things that you, that you need to look at. If they have conveyors, speak about things like speed switches, speak about safety instruments, basically analyze what they do in their process and then mention the right instruments that they're most likely to have or the instruments that you would also think that it is important for it to be there and say why they will be there. So for instance, if they store their products in silos, then you'd recommend that, okay, you'd have level transmitters there. For instance, if they use compressed air, which is used in most factories, mention things like pressure transmitters, safety valves. So that must be your approach into these type of questions. Mention as much as you can, but do not just mention random stuff here. Give examples of why that particular instruments would be found in that particular process. Analyze their process from the start to finish and make sure that you pack in as much instruments that you know into their process, but it has to make sense. Secondly, know that okay, there are instruments that are used for level. You must know that there are instruments that are used for pressure. Know that there are instruments used for temperature to measure flow as well. Know that there are instruments that are called analyzers and analyzers are used to analyze certain process variables like pH, concentration, alcohol, conductivity, depending on the type of process that they run, you must also have a knowledge of those instruments. And if you are currently in the food and beverage industry, get to know the different types of instruments and know that in my plants, we measure temperature, pressure, flow, and we also do some analyzation. Valves and control elements also fall under the topic of instrumentation. They are used as output devices and they are used in controlling. So some instruments provide input data to the control systems and other instruments are control elements that actually execute the actions from the control system. So then after talking about the types of instruments that you'd find in the food and beverage industry, you then need to know their principle of operation. What is meant by principle of operation is that you need to understand the technology that the instrument uses to measure the process variable. So this is quite important. If you answer very well on the type of instruments that you'd find in the food and beverage industry, then the interviewer will then ask you about their principle of operation. So they can pick one class of instrument or type of instrument and then they'll ask you their principle of operation. Let us take level measurement instruments. When it comes to measuring level, you get instruments that work on hydrostatic, hydrostatic level transmitters, you get ultrasonic level transmitters, you get your radar level transmitters. So when we dive in into the principle of operation, for instance, let's take hydrostatic level transmitters. So these level transmitters will measure the hydrostatic pressure of a tank or any vessel and then convert the pressure value using density and gravitational acceleration to give you the level that is in the tank. So expect that type of question and expect that you're going to need to explain the technology in that way. When it comes to ultrasonic, you must know that the instrument uses a sound wave. It emits a sound wave. That sound 
sound wave then bounces off the surface of the liquid that is in the tank and then it goes into the receiver and then afterwards it uses the speed of sound to get the time of flight and then from the time of flight it then can then be able to tell you the distance and then that distance will then be used to indicate the level that is in the tank so those are the type of terms or things that you should mention or that is expected under the principle of operation and to gauge or to see your technical knowledge an interviewer will ask you these questions if you are currently learning instrumentation then those are the things that you should be knowing and those are the things that you should be looking for if you are doing an instrumentation course the principle of operation is like a very broad topic it is quite interesting to know all instruments have a certain principle of operations that they operate in and the different types of principle of, of operations can be different for let's say temperature instruments so temperature measuring instruments will have different type of operations because they have different technologies that they use to measure temperature and each technology is optimized or better suited for a certain particular process so know that as well